This is Barry's Magnum, mate. To the grave with you. This place is cursed. I should have known Project Devastation would come back to haunt me. Don't worry, we Jill. Believe this location I have is the cause this. of the dimensional breaches we've encountered. Strike team, get down there. It's very powerful against unliving things. But yet it takes three shots to kill the first zombie in the game. He's actually that's the only zombie out of existence. That's the, that's actually the the actual zombie in 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 all Resident Evil games that it takes three shots to kill it with a magnum. Well, on the original that is. Well, even on the remake, even does it even does it on remake, he takes three fucking shots from his dirty magnum. But it's like you use nearly any magnum on Resident Evil games, it kills nearly every zombie in one shot. Kaboom! But the first ever zombie that you encounter, it takes three shots from it. What a beast! It does. Because when you're in corridor way, you go to fireplace and then there's that blood on the floor. You go to example it and then, yeah, zombie come through the door. Barry turns round. Get behind me, Jill! And then obviously goes, boom! 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 Blows its fucking head off. But it takes it three shots. <laughs> takes three shots to kill it. This is very good against unliving things. Mate, because I'm pretty certain as well, it actually takes three magnum shots to kill the fucking pirate. On the original, original original, I'm pretty certain it takes three magnum shots to kill the fucking tyrant. So that zombie is equal to the tyrant. Zombie threat deleted. Is that you, Jill? Boom! Mate, I'm gonna fucking... Whew. I'm gonna say, like I said, this zombie model is exactly. He's been. This zombie right him, he's been on every single fucking zombie's. This model right here, he's been on the exact same one. Same suit. Pretty much nearly the same suit as well. It's almost a Jill sandwich, yeah. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. Because in the remake, he says it doesn't. He says when you come out of the room, when he gets you, when he breaks your heart, he says you could fit, you could fit nicely into a sandwich. Instead of his saying it, it was almost a Jill sandwich. Because he runs up to the door, doesn't he? Is that you, Jill? <laughs> And then he pulls out his big boy and then he shoots the door. <laughs> Mate, I don't give a shit. It gave us the infamous fucking line, mate. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. It's very powerful against unliving things. Because that's the bit, that's the bit when he gives you the lockpick. Master of Unlock. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. <laughs> it is kind of funny though when you slide like when you play on this Chris and then you get into the room, you get into the safe room, and then Rebecca. And then she sprays you with. <laughs> she sprays you with uh, that spray or whatever she sprays you with. And then she goes, uh, "Oh, it's you, Chris. It's me, Rebecca. 
And literally, Chris is literally looking at her. He goes, Is that you, Rebecca? No shit. She's literally just staring at corner and she just says, Oh, it's me, Rebecca. And then literally, Is that you, Rebecca? No, it's not. Is that you, Jill? <laughs> Mate, they're, they're fucking. Obviously, I have seen uh, Resident Evil 3. I have seen it. I'm just not playing it. I, I've obviously seen the cutscenes. Like, I've seen the cutscenes, blah, 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 but I've just not played it. But they missed, because that was the one thing that I was looking forward to. It, is back on Resident Evil 3. When you beat the game, you go to the chopper, and then the dude in the chopper is Barry. But, for some reason, they did not put him in the remake. It would have been fucking perfect if they did. It would have been perfect if they did. They could have made, they could have made one bit fucking good, like one good bit, and it, it literally at the end of the game. When he obviously going up against Nemesis and his, fi his final blobby form, and then what they should have done when you shoot him for the last time, Nemesis grabs Jill and obviously she's trapped. Like she's in his, like in, like in the goo or whatever. It's like she's trapped in goo and obviously she can't get out. And then you see a chopper just land on top. And then you see Barry. Barry comes out and then he says, Is that you, Jill? And then you take over, but you then you play as Barry for that season. And then you you come up to him and then you obviously you come playing as Barry, you go all the way and then you shoot Nemesis to get to, to get him well to get him off of Jill. And then they could have just made it so you could have been a Jill sandwich. Mate, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> It isn't even the clock tower. Yeah, even the clock tower's not even in it. It's like, they took a... They took the clock tower out, but then... But they put... Uh, they put more sequence into the hospital, didn't they? When you're playing as... What's his name again? I can't remember his name. Carlos, that's it. And then when you wake Jill up, well, when Jill wakes up, and then you uh, you play as Jill. Yeah, still short. Sure, yeah, that's you, Jill. They missed a big opportunity with that, bringing Barry into it. That's you, Jill. Don't worry, Joe. I have this. And I say the biggest thing that they did wrong with that. Well, obviously, a lot of people say it's blank shit, whatever. But. But it is kind of like the fucking actual main menu. It's the main menu of the game. Like, yeah, it is. Well, you can kind of say it is like the original because at the, on the original game you see Nemesis on the front when you're in the main menu, so clicking new game and shit. But to me, they shouldn't have done it on the remake. They shouldn't have made it so Nemesis is on the main menu. They should have just made it so it's just, just a random fucking street by or something. Because. Uh, Because that was the one thing that everyone wanted to fucking see. They wanted to see what Nemesis looked like. So, if they didn't put him on the main screen, it would have been more fucking like exciting to see him when you first bump into him. Well, I've just seen the seal with the GL sandwich. It's the way he says it, yeah. 
You almost, it was almost a killed sandwich. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. It's very powerful against unliving things. They rushed it so much they could have put RE2 and Remake together for 60. Yeah, they could have. They could have. The only reason why they put it up, why, the reason why they put the price on it is because of resistance. That's the reason why. Because they knew for a fact resistance wouldn't have sold well if they did not put it in. And people saying that resistance is like heartbreak, they deserve a slap. Resistance is nothing like it's nothing like heartbreak. No, no way fucking near it. Well, I say the only thing that's similar is that you get to play as random people. And that's it. That's you, Jill. <laughs> That's when you're trapped in room. When the flood, when the water, the fucking ceiling's coming at you. Knocking on door. Fire is there. That's you, Jill. <laughs> Stand back, Jill. You was almost a Jill sandwich. Resistance is broken and shit. That's my review for sure. <laughs> but to be fair, mate, I would be kind of because Resident Evil Outbreak. I, I would be kind of scared if they did a remake of that game. <laughs> well, if they gave it fucking well, it's like even with Resident Evil. 3. Resident Evil 3 Remake, it's, not, it's still love to the community because it's like people have been wanting it, but unfortunately peop some people just did not like it. But it's just that Resident Evil 2, I think it was mainly because of Resident Evil 2, I think that's the reason why, because Resident Evil 2 Remake is it's like the perfect, it's Potentially like one of the best remakes. They've gave you can obviously tell them they gave it love with it and it's like if they remade number three first, I reckon that what that's like that's my whole thing. Like if they remade three first, they would have made it like number two remake, but then number two remake would have been like three. Are you interested in Cyberpunk? I am and I'm not. It's like as you know, I'm not really into my it's cause it's open world, isn't it? And as you know, I don't really it's like I'm interested in them, but I'm just not fully interested in them. But Cyberpunk's obviously, as you know, it's like the whole ultimate first person, well, open world game. Zombie down. I might get it, I might not. Yeah, I've heard that as well, that they remaking 4. It makes sense for them to remake 4 because it's like, it's because, it's the main reason why is because of, it's mainly because of Leon. Because he's got his own, like, model now. He's got his own actual, like, face model. So then it's like, we'll see Jill, we'll see Ada, we'll see Krasner, we'll see Ada, Ashley. We'll see Wesker. Because we've not seen Wesker yet. But you've got to realise with some of these games, because you normally see, because obviously on Resident Evil 4, West was on Resident Evil 4. So if they do remake 4, we will see Wesker. Because we've not seen Wesker in like an actual human model, like human face, face model. We've not, we've not seen Wesker. Raptor 1 is nearby, strike team. Expo window is short, so take it now if you're ready. But the one thing that I wanted for Resident Evil 2 Remake, I always wanted... I wanted them to make it so you could unlock fixed camera angle mode. Like the original. And I can remember someone modding it. 
I can remember someone modding it. I wonder if they remade five, would Chris look like Cork again? Big oh. This is a beast! It's just a shame though, I'm wrestling Evil 8, that Chris is not actually voiced by the dude that voiced him past Resident Evil 5. Because obviously he's the voice of the... I can't remember his name off uh, Apex. The dude that can fucking clone him send. Because he's not. Because the Chris on Resident Evil 8 is voiced by the dude who does Carlos. Um, which is a shame. Throwing C4. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. Your death will not be the last. I cannot rest until you are all gone. One less zombie. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. Exfil window closed. Raptor 1 will circle back later. It is very powerful against living things. Unliving things. Very good. It's a very good campaign. <laughs> Pardon me, but it's very short. Very short. It's a good campaign, though. Very good campaign. But it's just short. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. Oh. Hey, I've got. I, I might just do because these weapons are ranking up quite fucking fast, and I might just. Use the guns just to rank it, just get them maxed out. Since it's double XP. Because these are ranking up ever so fast. As good as the original cover the games. Yeah. Well. It don't be good old Black Ops 1s though. Obviously Black Ops 1 will always be the best campaign. 100%. It will always be the best campaign. But. It's good, it's a very good campaign, it's very good. Story is like, mainly it's the story again. It's got a pretty good story. But yeah, it's very, sh it's very short. You can kind of say it's like Battlefield. Short. They've put time and effort into it, but it's just short. That's what it mainly is. It's, they've just put loads of time and effort into it, but it's just too, it's just very short. You even see a familiar face on it as well. Obviously, I'd not say it, just in case you want to play it yourself. Unless, unless if you don't really care, and obviously I'll tell you. Stun up. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ich komm nicht zu Schuss. Ich komm nicht zu Schuss. Don't worry, Jill. I have this. One less combo. Very good against unliving things. Put it this way as well. I was just, I'll just, I say the one thing that I didn't like about the campaign is there was literally no point in putting Mason and Woods in it. Hit him, Jesus Christ! I say that's my, that's like my big flaw about it. There was seriously no point in putting Woods and Mason in it. There was literally no point. I say that's that's it. That's like my big like shit thing about it. There was literally no point in putting them in in the campaign. There really wasn't. Because you would have thought they would have put like they would have been like a big part of it, but they really ain't. Strange. The door opens on its own, as if to welcome us, like Lazarus risen from the dead. Looks like our intel was solid. Whatever Omega Group did here caused the other dimensional breaches we've encountered. You remember anything relevant about your old Nazi stomping grounds? Stop. I had heard stories. Talking. About expansion into dimensional research, but that's all it was. Just stories. Faint the air. I recommend we restore power to learn. Also, more. what did I say? What did I say when uh when they revealed this? When because this is the bit here. It's literally right here, isn't it? This is the actual bit. Because he's looking around. Walking around here, isn't it? Like this. And it was, whoa! And all them zombies are there. I told you they were fucking. It were thinged. Because even they've even changed it because the hag smat suit dude's not there on the floor. Because they're in a hag smat suit dude on the floor. Yeah, voices are talking to them. see we could see dr monte we could see transit crew we could see all the old maps back again This is the dark ether. Somehow. Since it's got fucking jellyfish. Because you never know. The shadow. Well, Dr. Monty could be watching. I 
I have been watching you. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. But yes, questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? Because I don't think the Shadow Man is. I got signal lock on. No. We're back in business. Shadow Man's what dead. I think I'm action. certain the Shadow Man's dead. It appears our strike team went on a little trip. Because he was in the summoning sure they have now returned from the other side. But yet, question to me. Why do you do this? I don't get why it's not hitting. Just hit it. There we go. I have watched quite a bit of zombies, I do enjoy watching it. Yeah. It's good. Like I say, this zombies is very, very new player friendly. And that's what I kinda like about it. <laughs> there he is, mate. Look at him. There he is. What am I doing? You shake that ass, girl. Oh, me, look at my bullets. We're gonna just get a tier 5. A high concentration of radioactivity and I missed. Me! Look how much bullets I've got in a clip. And all together. 421. That's mental. I've just got a knife. From, I've got a tier 5 knife. Dead <laughs> Keep it. Oh damn! I just team. Oh. There's literally one bomb in. There's literally just one bomb to Megaton. Megatron. That's his name. It's, it's Megatron. Mate, why am I not doing like 17 billion K? What, what's this? There's one there. Do it, it's 
gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I seriously hate how they fucking lunge. I seriously hate on how they dog lunge. Shut up, bitch. Give me all this. Do right, man. Window closed. Oh, fucking nice. We lost the gun. I am fucked. Deploying explosive primate. Get out of here, bitch. Fetch me the Fetch me the souls. Did the two box challenge on Black Ops who's on this day on that sweet. I'm 
Ben. Right, it's epic tier this is now, so I want to be seeing like fucking 20,000 pair bullet. Got the RPK and the R BR. <laughs> Two light machine guns. 11k. I swear to God, sometimes the fucking hate detection of this fucking game sometimes lost. I don't get. I'm using dead shot, but I'm not hitting them in the head. Don't get it sometimes. Too good for this fucking game! You bitches. <laughs> this fucking gun, man. Oh, shop. Very, very excited. I've got a knife. Like that then. How the hell did I just miss the zombie that I was firing at? But I hit <laughs> I hit the one behind him. <laughs> Mate, did I just hit Did I just seriously just oh, I just hit one of these one of five? I fucking did! I just hit 119k. That's 119k per bullet. Obviously with ring of fire. That is naughty. That is naughty. 119k Fucking hell. This is some Borderlands type damage Hundred and nineteen K Oh I refuse to submit We will fight no more Window closed. Molotov ready. I need sleight of hand. I need to go get sleight of hand and I need to uh, create revive. Keep forgetting. I need to go and get creep revive since I'm very fast and fucking. Whoa. <laughs> hey. 
knocks him right off the feet and you fucking blow him up with this. Fuck hell. <laughs> that is one hell of a gun. Hey, you're letting me down. Game, you're letting me down with that shit. I've got dead shot on. Oh shit. Whoopsie. <laughs> 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 Slide of hand, it's got slide of hand. Big boy. By the way, there is a bug with Max Tier Aoife Shroud. I think it's good. Let me guess. Let me guess. It's because when you activate it, don't it? Don't it push you forward? Pushes you forward, doesn't it? Yeah, but it clips you out of the map. Oh. Fuck's in there. Who the fuck's in there?
I am playing zombies. I can still one shot them with a knife. to sit up here. Because the zombies are way too fucking fast. This zombie is very different than before. It is. This is 100% different. Put it this way people that play this and then you play normal zombies, they'll be like, why ain't my pistol killing them in one shot on round 50? Because it's nothing fucking like that. The original is nothing like that. Killing zombies on round 27 with a fucking knife. Because it's tier maxed out. Yeah. No chance. Exit option closed. Raptor 1 will be back. The zombies are a little bit faster. This is why it's just spawned. They've made it so the spawn rate is very fucking good, which is a good thing. I've got to give it to him though, this game, it does feel very fucking satisfying, shooting zombies with his weapons. It feels very satisfying. I will give him that. It feels very satisfying. Hold on me, I might as well go for the thingy challenge, aren't I? Get to round 30, I can go. What did he do? Max. C4 charge out. Did my stun just... It looked like my stun just set off my... The, the electric pop or whatever. It actually froze that zombie.
<laughs> it's mental, man. Absolutely mental. Twenty three K. What the? What the fuck happened there? Just spun me around. Who the fuck's in there? They have made it so on this version though, you can't camp for shit. You can't be in a position where you can just stay there and just chillax and just get headshots and stuff, get camos. You've literally got to be moving about. Hey, a magnum max. I think, uh, to be fair, since it's double XP, I don't normally do this, but I would, because I would just use this gun and then wait until I've got all the camos for it and then go on to the next, but... Uh, but it just seems like I might as well just do each weapon, get them maxed out, then then obviously get the Since you need to unlock the weapon cupboard, weapon levels to, to get them up. Well, to get them up. Oh, seems way easier to survive. It is. It's 100%. That's why I said that this game. Is this game is very new user friendly. Oh, I've got a debt on a thousand. Let's get this bad boy to legendary. It is. This is like very, very new user friendly. Because even two of my mates play this shit and they enjoy it and they, they never played zombies. So. That just proves it. Private Eye, max level. Tier 3 packed and then tier 5 level. 15 